Okay, that's a pretty tough uh, strength session there. Finishing off with uh, 10 down to one on the pull-ups and 10 down to one on the bench press. Back to chest, big major muscle groups. Okay, well strength is great, but also flexibility is key. Strength is no good without flexibility. You want to keep flexible, otherwise you just middle around the place carrying them big carpets, okay? So this is my little uh, flexibility routine that I do with my clients. Have a go yourself, see what you think, see if you're flexible. If you're not, you may call them. Okay, so we start off. A swim session, four to one session, by reaching the hands up. Over the left, three circles. Two, three, on the side. We slide the fingertips all the way down the legs. Keep the legs straight, pinching the toes in the front of the figure, and dropping the bum all the way down to your heels. Okay, into this deep squat position. Still holding onto the toes, and then straighten the legs. Push your ball back and feel that stretch on the hamstrings back of the legs. Drop it again. Nice deep squat. Straighten the legs. We're going to start speeding this up because we all get bored and turn it off. Drop it again. I'll do this a bit slower though. Straighten the legs. This time we're walking forward. Stopping there, bum in the air. This is right heel flat, left heel flat. Bring it through. Keep the back straight. Push the hips down, squeeze the glutes, roll both shoulders backwards. Two, three, back up. Push them down. One, two, three, bring it through. Squeeze the glutes, roll the shoulders. The shoulder mobility. Back up again. This time we've got a bit of rocking motion, so I can One, two, three, back in again. Squeeze the glutes, roll the shoulders. Here we keep the left knee on the floor and with the right foot all the way up. On the knuckles, straighten the left leg, look forward and look up. That gets fun. Take the right hand underneath, all the way around to five. One, two, I'm gonna, only going to do two. Fist in the middle, pinching the left shoulder. Same again, you do five of these. Bring it down, tap, all the way up, keeping off that back leg, that back knee. Then again. Then we drop the left knee, hand on the right knee, little lunge forward, that engages the hip flexors, hands behind the head, look up, lean back, pull the elbows, both elbows back as hard as you can for five. That is going to correct your posture. Then you bring the left elbow down. One, two, three taps, and then you go for three twists. And that is going to rotate through the lower back. Then we kick the right foot up in the air and the down the dog. For a count of five, then back on all fours. We slide the right arm underneath. Extend the left arm out to the front. Up, give it a couple of twists, and then back up. Then you pinch the right shoulder. This opens up your thoracic. Okay, bring the elbow down. All the way up, look at the ceiling. Go for five of them, and then you reach it through. And then you go five and then. It's going to help you breathe through the exercises over the full you breathe. Then we want to engage the hip flexors and the glutes. So what I tend to do is 20 dirty dogs like that. Okay, it gives us flexibility movement through the hips, then knee circles. Plenty of them. Whilst also engaging your hip flexors and your glutes. Last one, it's what we call a kickback. There. 20 of them on each. Each one of them exercises 20. And then, just run through exactly the same on the left side. If you think you're flexible, give that a go. If not, give me a call. Don't think you can. No, you can't.